Good afternoon, fam. I just wanted to come to you and give you a little update about what's been going on with me over the past two weeks. It's been a minute before um, I have sat down and just had a conversation with you. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about and cover. And I'm just going to tell you everything, honey, that has been going on with me, okay? Um last time we talked i think i was at um sitting outside uh doing an interview with carlos he is now out on um training out with his trainer so i think it's been about three weeks now so he only has about three weeks to go he'll be back in upgrading and on to getting his truck okay um Remember I came and told y'all that I thought we had brought like a tanker company because uh, somebody told me that KLL brought a tanker company. Well, I found out that we do have a, um, a, a company and it's in Texas and you can go on the website and check it out. Um, I think it's like $24 an hour. I don't know how the hours work, but I think it's out of two locations. One of them is in Odessa, Texas, and another one is um, um, somewhere else in Texas. But it is um, it is a it's it's like a company position. It's twenty four dollars an hour. Um, but you got to go on the website and go on the KLLM and go under maybe tankers or oil field or something like that. I think it's like carrying sand or water or something to the oil fields, but. It come out that we do have that company and it is official and it is on the website, okay? So you heard it here first from me, honey. I told you, I told y'all we had it going on like that. So um the other thing is people was asking me about flatbed. Do KLO one have flatbed? We have uh, a flatbed, but it's like forest products. It's in the Hannesburg or it's in Jackson. It's somewhere, and they haul. I think they haul wood or something like that. But I'm not familiar about that. If you're interested in doing something like that, I think it is local. Um, I do have one of my referrals that are on that um, on the forest products. I don't know how they pay, so call and talk to the recruiter and ask them about that. Okay, if you're interested in flatbed. Okay. Um, Another thing that's going on with KLLM is uh, we're opening up a school in Chicago. So, yes, we are opening up a school in Chicago. So they're supposed to be breaking ground on that sometime um, um, uh, this winter, I guess. Um, and it's supposed to be like 12 acres. It's supposed to be huge. It's going to... Um, it's going to bring all kinds of like 200 and something jobs to the area. Um, I think one of the uh, instructors at the school is going to be over there, moving up there. Um, um, but it's going to be huge. So that opens up more opportunities. So people just don't, um, if you're a student or trying to get your CDL, we only right now accept people from Texas or um, Mississippi. So now when that school gets built, we're going to be able to accept um, maybe, uh, uh, well, people in Illinois, but maybe we'll be able to, at that school, um, accept everybody that wants to go to school. That would just be amazing. So when I tell you that this uh, company is growing, it really is growing. So, and it's growing fast and it's growing quick. So um, look out for that opportunity. Uh, somebody asked me, was it hiring? in that area i'm sure they are i'm sure that they're, they're going to be needing teachers i'm sure that they're going to be needing you know staff and things like that um so check into that see if that's something that you may be interested in um the school in dallas i mean not dallas but at the lancaster yard is really coming along okay that school is um it's going to be it's going to have the dorm the rooms and the school at the bottom or whatever but it's going to all be in one building so there's no more hotel and it is getting built really quickly so you know they're like almost really like through with that so everything's going to be in one area so you'll be able to train you'll be able to have your room um and you'll be right there at the yard so there's no more transportation back and forth anything like that okay so that's exciting that's going on in lancaster um jackson school now um remember we was at the super eight so i think that they moved 
the people that was coming to orientation and that was coming to Super 8, I think they moved over to the Quality Inn, which is a, a nicer hotel. So um, um, I stay there. I usually stay there when I come in. Um, but now it's kind of hard for me to get a room because everybody else has moved over there. So um, uh, the Quality Inn and the Best Western is where the students are staying at now. Um, they also moved the training facility. So the training facility is no longer, I don't think, at the Super 8. The training facility is now uh, at the Jackson Yard. So um, you get able to see the drivers. You're able to be at the yard and uh, and attend the orientation that way as well, okay? 2016 vehicles are here. One minute they say they're not giving vehicles to new uh, student drivers or new drivers are going to switch out to old driver ve vehicles and the next minute they say they're going to give to I don't know honey I, I, I don't know I just say come in get your vehicle and, and get on the road and go okay um, let's see the new pay rate um, since OTR got a pay rate of 90 cents per mile okay so that meant dedicated would have had to increase as well because dedicated was already at 90 cents a mile so i think dedicated went up to either 92 or 93 cents a mile so our dedicated is things like tyson we got all kinds of accounts also klm got number one carrier for the BASF account. Now, the BASF account is a hazmat account, okay? Um, they have a guarantee over there, but KLLM is the number one, was named the number one carrier for the BASF account, okay? So that's a big accomplishment. And, um, you know, congratulations to those drivers over there. Um, if you're interested in being on a dedicated account, there's so many. We got LMS. We got, I mean, there's so many dedicated. Tyson, if you like to run, Tyson. The only thing about the Tyson uh, dedicated is um, I, I, they do a lot of night drivers. So if you're a good night driver, then that may be something that you want to look at. The Tyson drivers, they run. Okay? They run. You hear me? So, um, um they love it over there. Teams is a good place to be on Tyson, okay? Teams can really make good money on Tyson. Um, I just like over the road, that's all. And I don't like driving at night, so. And, um, and um, but talk to the recruiter about those dedicated accounts and see what they have available that may appeal to you um, in your area, something that's able to get you home uh, when you want to get home. Um, let's see, summer's out, you know, we're going to be having the kids and everything with us. Like I told y'all last time, I was going to put my son on the truck with me and I went to go and I turned in the paperwork for him to be on the truck with me. So he should be coming on in a couple of weeks. Okay. I talked to him about it and told him that he was coming and he said, mom, I'm about to get a job for the summer than to be on the truck with you. So, um, in two weeks, if he does not have a job, guess what? He will be on the truck with his mother. So watch out for that, honey. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, and I'm, I, I'm sure he is looking uh, forward to it. So um, D, we just had the DOT inspection blitz. Um, some people got pulled in. Uh, some people got two, three tickets. KLLM did that. If you got pulled into the uh, wait to the DOT for a DOT expense, level one inspection, and you had no violations, they was giving you fifty dollars. So you know, with my hustle self, you know, I thought you know maybe I can find some and just keep going back through the inspection so I can get my fifty dollars, but. I didn't find none. Um, some people do got more than one and uh, they fax their information in. They will be getting a $50, okay? I didn't hear any too much any problems. Um, not that I know of. Um, I haven't seen anything, but, you know, keep in mind, I've been, honey, I've been in some oh, child. I got to tell you about it. I'll tell you in a minute, honey. But it's over, and um, they was just looking for maybe, like, cargo securement to make sure that we have the lots. We got these big old lots that we have to put on our trailers. And um, the reason is, is because 
you don't want to compromise that trailer. This is stuff that we carry produce. I mean, we got your cabbage. We got anything that you put in your mouth. We have, okay? We got strawberries. We got lettuce. We got meat. We got all kinds of produce. So you really don't want anybody messing with your trailer and doing, you know, just silly things to it because they may not touch what's in the back of the trailer, but you have a lot of mean people that will go in the back of your trailer just because they don't like you or, uh, or just to be uh, a hole and pull the, um, the, um, uh, thing the seal off your trailer so once that seal is pulled it that trailer has been compromised so you know you don't want us bring you any kind of produce or anything like that if that seal is broken so we have to make sure that we double lock our trailers and we have um huge locks that we put on there to deter um people from just messing with the loads i mean because you do a claim on these loads it could be anywhere from fifty thousand dollars to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars at times okay especially when you're dealing with the meat loads okay so we really don't want anybody to um to uh, mess with that and make sure that we get these people their products uh, safe, secure, and in the state that it was intended to be and that it was not touched or compromised by anyone, okay? Uh, people do that. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with them, but, you know, it, this is the same food that they have to eat. Um, you know, everybody eats. Uh, so, you know, you have to think of it as your family. So you just try to protect that. And um, make sure that you're doing the best that you can to secure the load. Child, we are getting um, blindside something on the side of the trucks because for some reason, we just don't know how to change lanes correctly. I don't know what the problem is, but it has been an increase in lane change incidents. And all it is is you put your signal on and you up and over wait a minute make sure you don't have nobody in that blind spot look at your mirrors i mean you got one two uh one two you got a couple of mirrors over there you know and if you aren't sure just wait a minute because either that car is going to go up or it's going to go back you know not a lot of times once you put that signal on they're going to react to that signal so um but we have had an increase in lane change uh, incidents. Um, so we got to be careful. We got to be more careful than uh, to just be, you know, getting over without looking before we do that. You know, it, it, it's, it's an issue. It's an issue. So it's an issue so much that on the next set of vehicles that's coming in, we're going to get uh, the detectors on the vehicles because obviously we're having a problem somewhere. So. I don't know how that's going to go. But um, let's see. Everybody's been um, okay with the new OTR is okay. I mean, even though we thought we was going to lose a lot of people on a uh, Southeast percentage, and we did lose some, but um, people stay with KLLM. It's not all about the money. The, I've talked to drivers that's been hired at KLLM three times, honey. I was like, well, wait a minute. You left three times and came back. Something ain't right. So, but no, they come back. They leave. They come back. And I say, well, what keeps you coming to KLLM? And they're like, you know, Tamara, it's just like a family. And it's just like, I miss my family. A lot of places you go to, you don't get there, you know. So, sometimes that means a lot to people. Um, and, and. Come on back. I guess the doors of the KLLM are open, honey. If, if it ain't working out where you at, just come on back. You know, so I guess whatever, child. I was like, okay, all right, three times. All right, well, come on. Um, We got new uniforms, honey. Well, not uniforms, but, you know, we want to look good out there. We don't want to be walking around there. I mean, I say Swift is the best in the class, right? They say they're the best in class. But KLLM is first class, honey. So we want to make sure we are properly dressed. We are, um, you know, we, 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 we represent. We represent. You know, we, we have to set the standard, improve each day, and have fun. So... I got my wardrobe, honey. I got shirts. I got the t-shirts. I got the hats. Let's see. What is my hat? We got the KLLM hats, honey. We, we, we doing it. And we got the KLLM shirts. Where is it? 
Child, I was in there shopping like I was at the mall. And it was payroll deduct. And I was like, I didn't know y'all was going to take it out that quick. You know, I thought y'all was going to like wait a little week or something. But they was like, oh, uh uh-uh. You get it on Tuesday. We taking them on the Thursday. Girl, I was like, well, wait, wait, wait. Girl, I was in there shopping. And they got the nice little women's shirts. They got like pink shirts, purple shirts. Girl, I was just matching it up, honey. We got the pink hats, everything. So, we're going to be running around in style, honey. We're going to be representing our company. And they're going to want to know where y'all working at. Where it's at. Where do I sign up? Because I need to be there. Y'all got uniforms. So, yes, we have uniforms. They may be the best in the class, but we're the first. Cl- we're first class. How about that? How about that? Um, my birthday was last week on the 18th. I celebrated. Uh, I, I I really didn't do anything. I actually just took time off. That was it. I ain't, you know, I ain't get wild. I ain't party. I ain't do all that. I just took time away from the truck and had some downtime and really enjoyed myself. Girl, you got to watch that because sometimes you could take some downtime and just be like, you know, I don't know. I'm not like enjoying just being around here. But uh, I got a chance to come in and meet people. I mean, man, when I got back to that yard, when I came in for my birthday and I got back into my yard, in that yard, and I saw them drivers sitting out there um, uh, for lease purchase class, child, we just, oh my God, it just made me feel so good it just made me feel so good because they was just like we ready to go we out here we was taking pictures it was just a just a family reunion girl it was just a family reunion and um i really enjoyed it i was going to take a shower because i wanted to do a picture with everybody get everybody names and all that kind of stuff but honey when you've been on the road and you came on the road the first thing i can think about is let me take a shower honey just let me get all cleaned up and I'll be back (laughs) but that's all right I enjoyed myself I had a good time I just wish I had more time to talk to people or whatever but you know everybody know how they can contact me call me or whatever I'm there for you baby I'm there um but other than birthday honey thank you for the birthday wishes y'all show out TMRG showed out uh, my Facebook page showed out. YouTube showed out. Y'all was just, I was, let me tell you something. I felt so good. I didn't even want to take no time off. I just wanted to stay out on the road because everywhere I was, folks were wishing me a happy birthday. And I was just like, yes, honey, yes. So um, I just had a good time with that. Uh, let's see. New drivers. Oh, my God. Y'all have showed me so much love with the referrals. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So, um, um, thank you so much. Thank you. And you know that I am here for you. Pick up the phone. Um, call me. You having any problems? I mean, just that appreciation. I, um Y'all, I really appreciate it. I really do. And if there's anything that I could do to uh, to make sure that you stay on the right path, to make sure that you're successful at KLLM, you know you could always pick up the phone and call me, and we will laugh, honey. We will laugh, honey. <laughs> we will laugh. We will laugh. But uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. People say, Tara, I can't get in touch with you, whatever, whatever. But... When I get when I get on that phone, I give my all. I get my I get one hundred percent, and I'm trying to whatever you trying to do. We trying to come up with a plan, honey. If you you know all a man need to do is have a plan, honey. The woman will the woman will uh, initiate the plan. I know she will she will uh, carry the plan through. If you have a plan, the woman will put that plan into effect. You hear me, child? And if you ain't got no woman to put your plan in effect, call Miss Tara. I will put that plan in effect for you, okay? Honey, we can just have the plan. That's all you got to do. Just have the plan. I'll make it work. Whatever you want to do. So, um, oh, let's see. New drivers, I love you. 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 Please don't forget to make sure you put my name on because they keep a track, and I want to make sure and I want to I want to know the numbers of what 
what what have people you know come to KLLM okay so it's very important to me that you put my name on the application that you either put my truck number call me let me know you comment whatever it is uh, you got any questions give me a call so we could sit chat talk I will answer any questions that you have and um, just to make sure that you at ease at the process okay um, I, another serious note I do want to um, take the time out to um, ask for your help okay because um, I have a different well Miss D Silver everybody knows Miss D Silver she does truck and divas rock okay and she is doing a cause that is so dear to her heart and what it is is it's mothers against drunk drivers okay and right now she is raising money to if she raised twenty five hundred dollars okay Swift which is the company that she works for will match her donation of twenty five hundred dollars okay so right now she is close to about two thousand dollars Team RG stand up. Team RG donated. Uh, Truck and Divas Rock donated. Um, um, Real Divas, uh, 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 African American Divas donated. I mean, it was so many people that showed Miss D Silva so much love. Um, if you don't know her story, um, she lost her daughter. Uh, I think about 10 years ago uh, to uh, a drunk driver okay and um, and that's why this is so dear to her heart that is why this is dear to us at Team RG and we want to make sure that we support her she is 24 year veteran in this game in the trucking game and um, and if we don't do anything else to show our love I mean five people a hundred dollars okay ten people fifty dollars we are going to make this happen for her so go ahead and if you don't mind uh, join her page which is trucking divas rock or just find D Silva find the link if you want to make yourself known and donate do it that way if not you could donate anonymous anonymously but we are going to make sure that she reaches her goal of $2,500 because SWIFT is going to be writing that check, honey. They are going to write that check, okay? And this is something that is near and dear to my heart because I know that is so important to her, okay? Child, we had 22 minutes. I told y'all three weeks, girl, <laughs> it's going to be a movie, honey. It's going to be a movie. Team RG! Good. Y'all got to get your t-shirts, honey. I don't know what you're waiting on. Go to the website, get your t-shirts. Drivers, y'all are showing up. We congratulating five, ten people a day. You hear me? We are congratulating people for getting their CDLs, getting their permits, getting their trucks. They just doing it. They just doing it. They just doing it. They just doing it. And Team RG has a strong support. And one of the drivers, let me tell you something. One of the drivers... Uh, mentioned in Team RG that you know they were sitting with no money, didn't have you know things uh, that they needed or whatever. One of the Team RG members stepped up within like 15 30 minutes, was like, Driver, this is my phone number, call me, write a calm data check, we got you. You know what I'm saying? That's what family is about, that's what trucking is about that is what drivers do we help each other to try to reach our goals and when we in a time of need we step up we step up okay oh that just touched my heart you know and I was just like man you know you just who does that who does that let me move on because I could get emotional about that honey the way y'all oh March of Dimes you got Sinister donating in the March of Dimes you got Tammy and, and, and her husband from Prime they donating to somewhere child we is just donating because if we pay the money forward guess what it comes back to you two three four times okay it comes back to you so when you have been blessed you turn around and you bless somebody else because your blessings is just going to keep coming and coming and coming and that's what's happening for us that's what's happening for us and I'm glad that we're able to step up to the plate and make things happen for people and we are representing the Team RG name to different charities organizations and that's what we're about check it out child go get your t-shirt honey
go on get the t-shirt baby that was it is the way who is that that's that team rg girl honey the donations oh god i want to just share a story about two drivers okay not a story but just a little quick song because honey we had 25 minutes <laughs> I have a driver that looked at the videos, came into uh, trucking, okay, did their training, got their truck, and I just had a conversation with him the other day just to follow up with him to see if he was okay, to what was he doing, and he said, Miss Tamara, let me tell you something. I was like, what, baby? He said, I have never made more money than my wife miss tamra i make more money than my my wife makes money do you know how good that feel for a man to say that they make they bring it in the bacon honey he told his wife she didn't even have to work no more how about that girl where they doing that at she, he said you done helped me out so much and and supported me throughout whatever now it is time for me to support you he said tamra it was the best investment i ever spent i've been wanting to do this for so long i just didn't do it and that brought chills to me i was like whoa wait a minute that's effective you know and to tell your wife she don't have to i'm gonna support you now because you have supported me for so many years it's my turn to support you and whatever you want to do honey i was like oh oh lord that's just too much i talked to another driver and he girl honey it just makes me proud that they're doing whatever it is that they want to do i'm gonna move on because honey i can go on for days about these drivers honey i could go on for days oh child girl honey somebody recognized me in a fly j down there in texas honey we in a fly j in line and every day how about he say miss diva truck is that you i was like baby wait a minute <laughs> You gonna tell everybody, okay? Come here, come here. I'm yelling across the block. Oh, God. So we chit chat and talk to every day. He said, "I'm coming. I'm coming. Forget it. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll be there. I'll be there. Whatever." So, shout out to you. Love, much love to you. He said, "I got you. I got you. I'm right behind you. I got you. I see your truck. I'm right behind you." He stayed that night. I stayed there tonight. It was good to know somebody had my back out there, girl. It was just good. Uh, let's see. Been barbecuing. You know I done bought a barbecue grill and put it on the truck, huh? Because you never know when you might need to throw a barbecue at your ship or a receiver, girl. They be taking so long, you might have to break out the grill. Child, I got a barbecue grill, lawn chair, and a fishing pole. Do you know? Because you never know. You never know when you might have to go on and get it crumped. Oh, oh, son on a thing. Congratulations to me. Little guy trucker, honey. Did y'all see little guy trucker on left Raven and went over there to be a lease purchase operator at Prime, honey? Good luck to you. Flatbed, doing it. You hear me? Doing it. Okay, so, oh, we getting folks on lease purchase side, child. So, uh, congratulations to him. And if y'all don't know the little guy, Trucker, go check his videos out. He is now a member of Team RG. You got the heavy hitters. You got Sinister. You got little guy, Trucker. You got D Silver. You got myself. You got Rolling 18. You got uh, Ghost. Uh, David Robinson uh, from Snyder. You got Snyder. You got Prime. You got uh, Swift, you got KLLM, you got Knight, you got everybody over there at TYG, all the video people. You got Roland, you got, oh my God, people that make videos over there in TYG, honey. We got Little Guy Truck. How about that? Now. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Baby, congratulations to you. I see what you're doing and i wish you much success and like you say it's about you being happy and doing whatever it is that you want to do and i wish you the very best okay i know you will be successful and i know you won't fail okay um 
but shout out to him. Shout out to the little guy, Trucker Honey. Randy Williams. If y'all don't know Randy Williams, Randy is the admin on T Mart. RG. He's the one that keeps everybody straight, honey. He the one that he, we run contests, you know, to tell your story, uh, where he giving out uh, coupons for this and coupons for that. Randy is a 34-year veteran um, um, in trucking. He is a Federal Express driver, and he is the calmest person I know. Randy can gets us together honey he makes sure there's no drama and he is in nutrition and fitness and if you go and look at randy's 2014 2015 he uses something called isogenics okay and it has really changed his life he will show you the pictures of before and after randy congratulations 34 years Shout out to you, because you only look like you're 34 years old, honey. <laughs> Randy, we love you. We love you. We love you, because you keep it straight. Randy is no drama, okay? He is the admin of Ruthless Grinders, and he is no drama, and we love you, and keep doing what you do, and congratulations to you, Randy. Congratulations, okay? Moving on, honey. I got to tell y'all this, baby. It's 31 minutes. But they sit by behind down there to Brownsville, Texas, okay? Girl, let me tell you something. Did nobody tell me Brownsville, Texas was right next door to Mexico, okay? If you make the wrong turn, you in Mexico, girl. Are you in Mexico? So I'm coming down the little highway, getting ready to make my turn to go to the delivery, right? And I looked and I was like, that's kind of tight. I think I could go down the street and turn around and come back. Girl, nobody told me down the street was Mexico. Girl, job. You talking about trucking? I ain't built for this. I was going down the street and all of a sudden I see patrol officers, the border patrol with dogs and everything, girl. I was hitting, girl. Ran back down the girl. The GPS said, if you don't turn your ass around, girl. Ran back down and said, you turn, you turn, you turn. Girl, I was leaving it. I was leaving the United States of America and taking KLL truck to Mexico. <laughs> girl, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do, girl. It was nowhere. Girl, I just saw the dogs. I saw the tea. I was like, Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Take the wheel, Jesus, because I don't know what to do. Girl, girl, the Mexican cartel is right there across the border. Could you imagine me and Ripley and some shrimp going to Mexico? Girl, somebody wasn't coming back, girl. Somebody wasn't coming back, girl. Girl, Lord Jesus, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Child, could you imagine me calling KLL and telling them that, uh, uh, dispatcher, where you at, driver? I'm in Mexico. Oh, damn it, damn it, driver, damn it, driver, damn it, driver. <laughs> girl, that would have been funny at all. That would have been funny, girl. They would have had me on channel 4, 5, 10, and 12, girl. They would have even had me on the Mexican channel, girl. Oh. Oh my God, girl, they told me that there are 10 people that die in Mexico a day, okay? Girl, they would have been waiting, girl. They would have been sitting there like this with the binoculars on top of my Look at her. She is really coming across the border in the truck. Oh my God, I held on to that wheel and I said, Jesus, please take the wheel. Child, you talking about having faith? Girl, Jesus said, Jesus, you, he may not come when you want him, but baby, he right on time. You hear me? Because Jesus said, take a left. And I mean a left right now. And you're going to do three rights and you're going to get back. <laughs> Girl, I took a left, a right. He said, go wide, stay wide. 
go wide and stay wide, Tara. So I went, I took that right, I took another right, I came around the border patrol, girl. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I came around the border patrol, came back, girl, the side said, welcome to Texas. I said, oh, hell. I said, girl, I said, thank you, thank you. Girl, I like to be in Mexico. I was thinking about who in the world can I call, girl. I'm sitting up there on the phone with Sprint telling them my internet is not working. Sprint say nobody told you to go down there to no Brownsville, Texas. Y'all know we ain't got no service in Brownsville, Texas. Girl, I was so bad. I didn't know what to do. I finally got to my destination. Honey, I got out that truck. I said, baby. I said, what in the world? Why? Why? Could y'all just tell me why you got to be right here? Why? He said, you, did you, you didn't go to Mexico, did you? I said, well, if y'all know everybody going to Mexico, why y'all? Ain't no sign. Could y'all put a big sign saying, do not pass this stop sign. Do not pass. You will be in me. Ain't no Girl, you could go to Mexico all day. You just can't come out. <laughs> I would have problems coming out of Mexico with some shrimp. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I was so scared, child. I was so scared. I was like, oh, I'm not built for this. I'm not built for this. We get said, I'm talking to the security guard and everything. He talking about, oh, <coughs> well, you could stay the night or whatever. And if you want to, you could detach the trailer and you could go. There's a beach down that way. Just don't go straight and don't go to the right. Because if you go straight and if you go to the right, you're going to be in Mexico. But if you go to the left, you'll go to the beach. I was like, how about I ain't going nowhere? How about I'm going to be right here? How about y'all can lock the gates? Because I'm not leaving till I get my load and I'm going back north. Huh, girl? Nobody talk English, girl. <laughs> I said, but you know what? You work it out, okay? Because... The man didn't talk English. First thing he said to me was, no speak, no English. I said, well, wait, 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 wait a minute now. That's all you got? You ain't got nothing else? You ain't got nothing? I said, okay, so we're going to have to work this out. I said, can I go to, can I? <laughs> can I go to sleep in the truck? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I was like, <laughs> we communicate. You know what I'm talking about? We communicate. Girl, I went to sleep in that truck. They locked me in there. They locked, they shut it down. Girl, there were folks on the roof. They shut it down to make sure, you know, I was okay. So, been there, done that. Okay, check that right on off the list, girl. I was almost in Mexico, girl. Who was coming to get me? Nobody. Y'all weren't coming. Y'all would have been like, y'all would have been like, I told her not to take her ass. <laughs> y'all would have been like, I told her not to go down there. I don't know why she took her behind down there. Ain't nobody told her to go to Mexico. Talk about why she ain't do her trip plan, girl. I couldn't have planned that. I could not not plan that. Child. I just missed the turn. I knew the turn was there. I was just gonna go down the street, girl. Child. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Talk about having faith, honey. Baby, I got faith. You hear me? I got faith. Oh. Wait a minute. How about I go on the fly and jade, right? I got a refrigerator and I make sandwiches and all that kind of stuff in my refrigerator. I got a refrigerator and everything. So I go on the fly and jade, you know, to give me a couple packs of man uh, mayonnaise and mustard and stuff so I can make my sandwich, right? Girl, I go on the fly and jade. Girl, you know money tight when you go on the fly and jade and they done moved the mayonnaise and the mustard behind the counter, girl. I was like, well, what the What's really going on? And I said, well, where's the ketchup and the mayonnaise and mustard? She was like, it's behind the counter. I was like, really? I said, we got to ask for ketchup. We, we got to ask for the mustard and the mayonnaise. She said, yes. How many packs would you like? I was like, well, darn. I just, just, I just filled up 300 and something dollars worth of fuel. You think I can get a couple of packs of mayonnaise and mustard? <laughs> 
time must be rough if you gotta hide the mayonnaise and the mustard go. <laughs> I said, well, give it to. <laughs> I said, I said, give me two packs of each, okay? Because y'all, uh, I know y'all struggling, honey. What kind of budget is you want on there? You got to hide and put up the ketchup and the mayonnaise and the mustard behind the counter, girl. You got to ask for it. Y'all rationing it out like that at the flying chain, girl. <laughs> it must be rough. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. But I am back out here, honey. I've been out here for a couple of days now. My week has started. So I'm back out here enjoying myself, having a good time, honey. It's 40 minutes, but I just want to say one more thing to you. If you put your application in at KLLM, okay, uh, so y'all been calling me, telling me, Timmer, why is it taking so long, taking so long? Well, it's because KLLM actually do all the checks that they need to do before you get here. A lot of times when you have SWIFT and CR England and all these places that tell you right away to come on, they haven't completed all the checks, okay? So that's why when you get to CR England, and I can speak myself because I've been there, okay? When you get to CR England, you're going to see about 10 people go home the next day or that same day because they didn't complete all their checks. So a lot of stuff start popping up on them. I don't know if y'all ever been to CR England, but child, you will see 60 people and the next day you will see 40, okay? Because stuff start coming in with tickets and stuff. And instead of them taking the time to uh, fully, thoroughly wait till that stuff come back, you know, they put you on a, a bus to Salt Lake City and you up there and before you know it, you trying to do your permit and stuff like that and they come find a ticket out from 10 years ago. Okay, it happened to me. Not a ticket, but it happened to my ex. Uh, he had, got up there. They said he was good to go. Get up there. He got a ticket from 10 years ago. Okay, what do you do? Uh, it just depends on who you are. They, they, I, they, I think they paid for the ticket. Me, I got up there and needed the marriage license. Didn't have the marriage license. Okay, not the original one. So they had to send off for the marriage license. So that's why it takes KLLM a little bit longer because before we get you down here, you done left your job. You done, you know, told everybody you was leaving. Before we get you down here to go to orientation, they want to make sure that all your checks have came back. So sometimes that takes a little bit of uh, time because they got to verify that employment. If your employer is not getting back with them, um, that takes time. Uh, your background check has to come back. Um, 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 some people don't want to let you go. Okay. So <clears throat> you got to deal with that. Um, but, uh, uh, rest and believe that, you know, they are working hard to, uh, make sure that they get your stuff processed, process. So when you get here, you don't have any problems. Okay. Um, but yeah, you, yeah, people's been calling me and saying, <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't quit your job. Nah, don't quit. Your, <laughs> don't, don't. Don't put in your application and quit, okay? I ain't tell you to do that. Put your application in. Let the process take it, its, its, its course. Follow up, check, make sure everything is okay. And as soon as everything comes back that they need, then you'll be ready to go. You'll be good to go, okay? But um, family, y'all, I've been child, I've been laughing my behind all concerning the things that don't kill you, girl, make you stronger, girl. <laughs> Girl, I was in Mexico. <laughs> Down there with the cartel, honey. <laughs> but um, other than that, everything has been going great. Um, just running, um, stinging busy, uh, uh, going different places. Uh, like right now, I'm in Tennessee. I don't know where I'm going next. Ripley! Uh, let me see if Ripley got something to say, girl, because you never know with him, honey. Ripley! Girl, he is on night duty, girl. He is out at the window looking, making sure everything is okay. Come here, Rip. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, sit. Come here. Sit. 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 Look. Look. Right here, Ripley. Golly. Goodness gracious. Stop. I, 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 I. Look, Rip. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. 
You got anything that you want to say? You want to say shout out to all the dogs on the trucks out there in trucking land? You want to tell them, hey, huh? You want to say shout out to y'all? Say, tell them, say, say, I love in life. Say, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. <laughs> <laughs> y'all i gotta go i just finished my 11 hour day and i am going to bed so i will talk to y'all later tell them about rip say bye see y'all next week okay uh, stop